inna alihatakum so they made them what deities they made them gods they made them gods so they were saying when nuh alayhi salatu wasalam was calling them to tawhid say do not you should not leave your gods you should not leave wad wala suwa wala yaghutha wa ya'uqa wa nasra and as ibn abbas radiyallahu anhu he say that all of these are names of righteous people so therefore sawaru suwarahum that they set up their statues or they built or they erected their statues wa nasabuha ala majalisihim and they set it up to where to their gathering places right to their gathering places and they will say barakallahu fikum he mentioned hafizahullah fi majalisihim and they will be barakallahu fikum commending them to be worship other than allah tabaraka wa ta'ala they will be commanded to worship those idols besides allah tabaraka wa ta'ala so this is how first shirk came to be falamma ja'ahum nuh alayhi salatu wasalam when nuh came to that people wa nahahum an ibadatiha and he forbade them of what worshiping those idols this is the first thing that nuh alayhi salatu wasalam what forbid them to do what to worship those idols wa amaruhum bi ibadatillah and he commanded them to do what to worship allah alone what is that la ilaha illallah that is la ilaha illallah he commanded them wa nahahum an ibadatiha he co- he prohibited them from what from worshiping those idols which is what la ilaha wa amaruhum bi ibadatillah wahdahu and he commanded them to do what to worship allah tabaraka wa ta'ala alone when you put those two together it is what what we say la ilaha illallah qalu they say la tadharunna alihatakum and they will say and when nuh alayhi salatu salam was calling them they will say this you should not leave of your gods you should not abandon your gods and they will say la tuti'u nuhan and do not obey nuh don't obey nuh don't abandon your gods wastamiru ala kufrihim and they persisted upon their disbelief wa tughyanihim and upon their tyranny their tyranny wa inadatihim and their stubbornness he say hadha awwal shirkin hudith fi al-ard this is the first time that shirk happened on the earth wal iyadhu billah and he say was sababuhu now what was what was the sabab of shirk on the earth look at this the sabab of shirk on the earth it is something that is very widespread wal iyadhu billah not among the disbelievers but among the muslims what caused shirk what causes what caused the shirk what shaitan utilizes to bring to, to 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 establish shirk on the earth or to make the people commit shirk is something that today wal iyadhu billah most of the muslims are not free from right most of the muslims are not free from that which the shaitan you the use and use it as the means or as a disguise or as a bait to wal iyadhu billah misguide the people to misguide them from tawhid to shirk what was that asura pictures pictures right asura pictures what did he ask them to do erect the pictures of those the dead ones the righteous ones that were dead he enjoy he what advised them to erect their pictures right so wa sababuhu asura and the cause of it is what is the pictures wali dhalika and this is the reason being that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qaal inna ashadda an-nas 'adhaban 'inda Allah yawm al-qiyam 
المتصورون This is why the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said and this is something that barakallahu fi we all ought to pay a great amount of what attention and cautious He say the most severe punishment عند الله with Allah يوم القيامة يوم القيامة when the hour be established the worst the most severe punishment with Allah تبارك وتعالى يوم القيامة are the picture takers or the picture makers picture takers and picture makers meaning those who make pictures now here is the thing You know there is a proverb they say, right? This dog bite or don't bite, don't put your hand in his mouth. Make sense? The dog will bite or won't bite, don't put your hands in the mouth. Adam? They matem do mate. Pull do go long. Whether it is it bite or it doesn't bite. Listen, would you would you volunteer put your hand in the in the in the in the hand of a stray dog that you don't know none about? Would you? So don't go to the level of oh, this is not talking about this. Uh, listen, a surah, a surah, point blank. Be safe. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. And don't go by people saying this and the third. Barakallahu feekum. He say the al mutasawwirun. Then alhamdulillah. Take it as what al musawwirun meaning musawwirun. right meaning the picture makers just take it as the picture makers don't go with like them bringing your intellect too much that goes alhamdulillah along with these cameras that we have and we be taking pictures of any things with with with, with souls left and right whether it is our own selves taking selfies as we living in the in the era of the selfies right or it is taking pictures of our children or our wives and the likes of these things akhi it is for the muslim for the for the believer he is to be better safe than sorry better safe than sorry so it say the musawwirun take it like that the image takers or the image makers whether it is done with a pencil that the person draw or whether it is done by a person taking like a what you call those things that they used to make uh, sculptures huh chisels yeah like whether it is a chisel or a, a, a pencil or whether it is a camera the final product is the same the final result the final product is the same you come to have in front of you a image and listen to this barakallahu feekum wa qala the messenger alayhi salatu was salam he say and we will inshallah go back to the issue of a shirk how it happened the messenger alayhi salatu was salam he say inna alladhina those who yas'awna hadhihi as-sura those who make these pictures he say yu'adhibuna yawm al-qiyamati they will be punished yawm al-qiyam they will be punished yawm al-qiyam and my point is what's the point of having pictures that's my point is it and another thing i think a lot of people having sicknesses they don't have no understanding where it came from for the simple fact that you put yourself out there where everybody can see you and make a comment and everybody everybody is not free from the evil eye everybody is not free from being someone that can give the evil eye a person barak allah says oh man this and make a comment this is oh this is beautiful or oh, this is this is the saying things making a comment it might not be something that is that is bad as a, a comment they are making it's not like something that you know they 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 huh 
It's not intentional. That's the word. Jazakallah khairan. It's not intentional. It might not be intentional at all. But perhaps the individual, he has an evil eye in him. He might not even know that he has it. Now you put yourself out there where, um, where billions of people can freely have access to certain things about you, about your wife, or about your children. But now once the send button is clicked, it's not restricted to you only. It is for everybody to have access to see it. So let us be, alhamdulillah, among those who would be very cautious about these camera things. Now it is very loose. Too loose. Too loose, barakallah feekum. And more so when we put these phones in the hands of the, the kids, they don't know nothing but taking pictures and selfies. That's the best they can do. Right? Or having their YouTube channel. Right? So the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, he say, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَسْعَوْنَ هَذِهِ الصُّوَرَ Those who made these pictures, he say, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, he say, يُعَذِّبُونَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ They will be punished يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يُقَالُ لَهُمْ It will be first said to them, أَحْيُوا مَا خَلَقْتُمْ أَحْيُوا مَا خَلَقْتُمْ Give life to that which you have created. Give life to what you have created. Give life to what you have created. Is it possible? Ain't that a punishment? When you are asked to do something that is impossible, that itself is a punishment. Right? When you are asked to do something that is impossible, that itself is a punishment. That alone is a punishment. Right? That alone is a punishment. Being asked to do something that you know you can't do. So Shaykh Fawzan Hafizahullah, he say, Yu'maruna, they will be commended. They will be commended. Binafhi arruha, they will be commended to blow the soul or a soul. Fi hadhi surah, to blow a soul in those images that they have made. To blow a sword in those images that they have made. Now who, barakallahu feekum, has the ability to do that? Only Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Shaw Saleh Fawthan, Hafizahullah ta'ala, he say, he say, هَذَا مِنْ بَابِ أَتَّعْجِيزِ وَتَعْذِيبِ لَهُمْ وَرْعِيَاذُ بِاللَّهِ And that request will be only for the sake of showing them that they, it is impossible for them to do and to show that as a punishment for them. They will be asked to show that it is impossible and they will be asked as a punishment for that too. And he say, and, their, and safety is sought from Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. He say, he say, لِأَنَّ tasweer, Because picture taking or picture making وَسِيلَةٌ it is one of the means min wasail shirki it is one of the means of what of shirk we have seen with our own eyes where now you know the sufi they used to have this small pictures right like an id picture right and they will make a small frame and they hang it on themselves, on their necks. But not anymore. Now they will have a billboard size of the picture of their sheikh. Huh? Serin Bamba, barakallahu feek. And not only him though. They will have the billboard size of their sheikh. They will have the, yes, yes, Serin Tuba. You name it. You name it. You name it. 